Chloe, the Ategi Shared Lives project, tell me a little bit about the history of the project. Um, Shared Lives has been a form of social care that's been around sort of since the 1970s, um, but we've just recently been commissioned um, by Thurrock Council to deliver the service in Thurrock. So we, um, the contract began in February and we're just going out there at the moment and telling people in Thurrock what Shared Lives is. So in a nutshell, um, we look for Shared Lives carers and then we um, assess those carers, we train them and we support them to have someone living um, in their own home, a vulnerable adult living in their home with them. So um, it's a very inclusive um, form of social care uh, because the recognition is that residential care or domiciliary care is not for everyone. So as a shared lives carer you have to have a spare room and I want to support someone and from there um, you welcome someone um, with extra need into your home and support them. It's a big undertaking isn't it? So yeah, how do you get the per so if somebody initially signals an interest, mm -hmm. what is the, the journey from there to actually them sharing their life? Well I think what we what we want to, to say to people is that Ategi have been doing this for a very long time and are quite experienced in, in delivering shared lives. Um, at the main part of um, Ategi's work is in South Wales actually and that's where the name comes from. It's um, loosely based on the word support in Welsh. Um, they've been delivering shared lives um, since 2001 um, and it's we're very experienced at it and so what we do we take people through an assessment process um, that can be sort of 12 visits so it can take up to about three months and within that time we get to know you and you get to know us and our values and our principles and we sort of Work, walk you through that process. We we will talk about your your history, um, you know, look at your house and what sort of support you can offer and what support you'd want to offer. A shared lives carer doesn't um, have to be someone that provides full time personal care support to someone with complex needs. A shared lives carer can provide short breaks, um, can provide respite care. Um, they can. The, there is a preconception that shared lives is just for people with learning disabilities, but it's not the case. You can support people with mental ill health, um, physical disabilities, acquired brain injury. So once we've taken you through that assessment process, we then you know, spend time training you and giving you all the right information and, and all the skills you're going to need. Um, and we then um, work carefully with, with Thurrock Council to match you with someone that you feel you could offer support to and um, someone that would fit well within your family and then hopefully um, because of our experience in doing that it will work out okay. Has this, you mentioned you're based down in Wales, uh, has, it, has it worked in Wales? We've got about I think nearly, I think it's around about 200 long term placements in, in South Wales um, and the same people that started uh, the organisation in South Wales are still running it today. Um, we're a very small organisation but um, very ambitious and um, you know recently gained this contract um, so sort of coming over this way a little bit um, at Tegi as an organisation so yeah it's working um, we've got, just got our um, 40th long term arrangement in our scheme in Buckinghamshire um, we've taken over two local authority schemes in South Gloucestershire and um, Haringey and but Thurrock is a newbie and hopefully it can be a success here. We, we welcome you, but, but why Thurrock? Um, I think when, when Thurrock Council were looking to, to deliver the service, they, they talked, obviously they put the contract out to tender and they, and they had to make the decision whether to deliver it in-house or whether to um, tender it out to um, a provider of the service. So we went through that process um, because, you know, we do shared lives, we're passionate about it. We went, we went for the contract and, and um, Thurrock thought that you know, our experience would be good in an area where this has never existed before. And I think, you know, hopefully, um, we can use our experience to make it a success. What will you gauge as success? <sighs> you know, I'm really passionate as, as a scheme manager that, that this is a really good option for people. People just want to live as part of an ordinary family setting and so I think if we can get some placements, uh, sorry, arrangements going um, that 
you know, we can really see people, you know, improving and getting the outcomes that they might not have got in, in other settings, you know, residential care homes, then it's a success um, because that's what it's all about. It's, it's about people flourishing but within the community and, and being able to live that sort of life. So I think that's a success of any, um, that's what anyone working in sort of social care, you know, wants ultimately at the end of the day. Um, we want to get, you know, we have certain targets to meet. We, we want to get um, sort of roughly around 15 long-term arrangements um, each year. Um, we're currently holding the contract for five years with a possible extension of two. So, you know, we've got time to, you know, get word out there. And I think by people sort of seeing it, um, once we get one or two people and seeing, you know, and knowing that we're not going to rush you through the process and once you're through the process and you're matched we provide monthly sort of supervision and we're always there at the end of the phone and you know placement review um, arrangement reviews and carer reviews and everything like that so you know hopefully that will be the success is that we'll start seeing that around and about and, and it will just you know it'll bring the benefit to people in direct. So.